ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the channel we are here i am here to announce some beautiful news to you if you haven't been on twitter yet as you can see on the screen the well extremely anticipated boroshiki dlc has finally been announced by Naruto Video Games. In this, they've called him Boruto Uzumaki Karma Progression. Why the f would they call him that? Boroshiki is the only cool name. Anyways, he is DLC Pack 5 who will be uh, available on the 26th of September 2024, which is next week. This time next week, this Boroshiki will be playable. Very cool. And on top of that, somehow, some way, CyberConnect2 have managed to make this announcement about the Uchiha as Madara. Rene Sasuke and Indra will be getting a combination team ultimate. That is crazy. We're out here announcing an Uzumaki character and somehow they still managed to glaze the Uchiha. As if they haven't given Sasuke 5 billion buffs already. Indra 5 billion buffs already. Madara 5 billion buffs already. <clears throat> Let me put my hatred for the Uchiha aside. And it does make sense because they did the exact same for Naruto with Hashirama and Ashura. So yeah, I kind of want to know what this ultimate juice will look like. I'm sure we will see eventually. Although, I mean, I don't really play as any of these characters, so I guess this is a huge day for Uchiha fans. However, Boroshiki, I am extremely happy about this. Most of you guys have probably already seen the short of me wanting him in this game. I made that about a year ago, so that wish actually coming true makes me happy. It resonates with my soul. As you can see, it doesn't resonate with everybody as the first tweet you see in the replies is a picture of people sleeping on this DLC. If you guys don't know, Dragon Ball Sparking Zero also released a roster trailer. So I, <laughs> most people don't really care about this, but I do. I care about both of them. He also has a screenshot here and this looks cool as hell. I genuinely thought that the mod version of this Boroshiki would look the same but I can see they've sort of given him more of a sharper white Byakugan and then his horn is broken which I don't think is available on the mods. Anyways they didn't link the website in their tweet like normal but it exists. The website does exist and the same with Kawashiki. He's got his render, his screenshot and some other BS. Anyways let's see what his duties are about. Launch an enormous Rasengan. Immediately looking at this I I'm getting Baryon mode Naruto in my mind. The only difference is, I don't know if I'm jumping to conclusions here, but I think this Boruto might be launching his Rasengan. They've labeled this header as launch an enormous Rasengan. And when you launch something, you're basically throwing it. So this Rasengan might actually be a long range jutsu, who knows? And then at the bottom here, it says when the attack is charged, immediately move in close to the enemy and launch it. So this massive Rasengan has two ninjutsu. I'm guessing one is a throw and the other one, you can teleport to your opponent and hit it, which is crazy. I know they gave Kawaki the exact same thing where he charges his jutsu, he teleports to his opponent. So I'm guessing they're just trying to create this similarity between the karma bros. Now let's see what his second jutsu is about. Hold on, okay. Compress power to unleash a devastating strike. Ninjutsu, spiraling bullet, which I'm guessing is the Rasendan. Now looking at this, I'm going to assume the first jutsu is not actually launchable. It would be kind of funny if Boruto had two long range jutsus, but the Rasengan definitely has to be launchable. And at the bottom here, it says charge this technique. So this Boruto has charged techniques in both of his jutsus. It says charge this technique to transform it into a jutsu that sends free spiraling bullets flying. I'm guessing when he shoots, when he charges his jutsus, he will fire three Rasendans that will cover a wide perimeter. I might put it on the screen, but one of the Boruto mods does have a thing like this where he gentle fists that Rasengan and it sort of spreads out into multiple areas. So hey, maybe CyberConnect2 took a couple notes from that. Up next, we have the ultimate jutsu. I haven't actually seen these screenshots. I saw one of them on Twitter, but looking at this Boruto, I love it already. Just the way the karma glows, the color scheme, the fact that the background is blue, matching his blue karma, and he has certain expressions on his face different angles i'm loving this screenshot and honestly i cannot wait to see this ultimate jutsu in proper motion looking at this screenshot you can tell boroshiki momoshiki is such a damn bully my guy is up here charging up a massive odamara sengan and then he has three shadow clones holding kawaki's pathetic ass down and they're all laughing at him smirking at him they're like huh you really thought you can beat me <laughs> I am so excited to see this. Just from these pictures alone, I can imagine how this ultimate jutsu will go. He probably shoots three Rasendans with the shadow clones. It hits his opponent. The shadow clones end up holding the enemy down 
and then while he's being held down, he charges up a massive Rasengan, and then he takes out everybody, including the Shadow Clones. Whoever made this at Cyber Connect 2, you cooked. I know you added some extra spices here and there. Beautiful stuff. Obviously, right here, you can see the Uchiha glazing, the Uchiha riding, the Uchiha bandwagon, the Uchiha compliments. Man, okay, so these guys have a Team Ultimate, like I said earlier. They all go into their Susanos, and <laughs> this is very funny because Sasuke and Indra have very similar Susanos. Apparently, Indra Susano is a bit obese, but that doesn't matter. It says Sasuke activates planetary devastation while Madara's shattered heaven crushes the enemy. It looks like they're just summoning meatballs over here. And then once the meatballs are summoned, Indra decides to become four and send thunder raining down from the heavens. This last screenshot is very crazy because this looks like an um, Amaterasu infused Kirin. They definitely seem like they wanted to go all out for these Uchihas. I can bet my left not sight that this ultimate jutsu is five times better than the Naruto Ashura Hashirama ultimate. Just because it's Uchiha. Yeah, but it seems like that's about it. They don't actually have any patch notes. They don't have any other announcements like they did the last time. And with that, season pass one is complete. Now, I genuinely wonder how CyberConnect2 and Bandai are going to move on from here. After this patch, the Naruto Storm community has nothing to expect. They did say that they plan to update the game for the near future when they release the last patch, but who knows how long that will take. It could be months before they announce something, or they can announce something when Boroshiki releases. Who knows? You got some skins, you got the- I'm a fuck it, I don't know what to call these skins, but I'm gonna call it High End Era Madara and High End Era Hashirama. It seems like that's about it. I cannot wait to play as this Boroshiki DLC, because out of the five characters within this DLC, I did not give a damn about Hagoromo, not a damn about Ishiki, definitely not a damn about Kurenai. I mean, I made a video roasting her. Definitely not a damn about Kawaki. But Borushiki, I definitely cared about this man. Okay, and I lied a bit. Maybe a little bit about Ishiki. But Borushiki was definitely miles ahead compared to all of these other characters. So next week, I cannot wait to play as him. I'm going to stay off Twitter and YouTube a day before it releases because early access gameplay does drop. And I don't want to ruin the surprise for myself. You know what? Let's end it there. I don't really have much else to say. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to leave a like if you did. And if you're excited for this Borushiki DLC too. Now I shall ride off into the sunset with Cyber Connect 2.